This is Yarwood, a stunning 2012 six foot tug style narrowboat, built by um, Steve, Lam Steve Lamborn and Stuart Harper, and recently fitted out to a degree by Wharf House. She's in absolutely stunning condition. She's only five years old. Solar panels on the roof, self-seeking satellite on the roof, lots of tricks, lots of toys. There's a seven and a half kilowatt generator. Central heating. Huge tug deck there, that's nine foot six long. And her lines are lovely. She sits so well in the water, in my opinion. She's beautiful. Onto the deck, the gas locker there in the bows that houses two 13 kilo gas bottles with an interchange valve. But it's big, it's been divided into two. And part of it is just for housing mooring pins and various bits of navigation equipment. You'll see as we go through the boat, it's all been very well thought out. In the hold here, this houses the diesel boiler, the hydronic, hurricane hydronic. And there's the generator, 7.5 kilowatt beta generator. It's got its own diesel tank here in the, under the tug deck, as well as the water tanks, of course. And lots and lots of storage space in there in addition. The doors there were painted by Terence Edgar, beautiful. And on in we go. Looks like a horror movie with my shadow there. But there we are. Beautiful in here. White painted panelling, sapili trim. Makes the boat feel very light. The inlay in the cupboards is eucalyptus pommel. And here we have a cupboard with the generator controls, central heating controls, and the various tank gauges. And under the tug deck here, all very neatly done, we have the tumble dryer and the washing machine, both full size, both neatly housed. The stairs come away and go back very easily. The sitting room's open plan. It's 13 feet long, diesel stove next to the galley there. And cupboard space down here on the starboard side. Beautiful woodwork. This is the inlay I was talking about with the Sapili trim around it. And there's the television. It's on an extendable bracket, wall bracket, that comes out and you can swivel it left, right and up and down. That is connected to a Humax FreeSat box so you can watch and record at the same time. Next to it's a floor to ceiling cupboard. There's the stereo system. And there's the, the freebie box. On into the water galley. The cook is a, a belling gas oven and grill, full burner gas hob, all really, really clean. Full size domestic dishwasher, that's John Lewis. Uh, Bosch rather, the tumble dryer is John Lewis, as is the washing machine. There's the Belfast sink. And the fridge next to it, they call it an easy access. I think it just means the um, shelves come out, but it's actually very practical. The worktops in here are um, Sapili as well. They're oiled rather than varnished. And there's a lot of space, lots of drawers, lots of cupboards. It's a beautiful kitchen, very practical. And lots of space. Side hatches, starboard and port side at the end of the galley. The steps are designed to store under each of them for wet boots and whatnot. And then follows floor to ceiling cupboards and wardrobes both sides. One of them has a radiator in it. But there's his and hers 
his and his, or hers and hers, wardrobes either side. Copious space. The Barton's walkthrough. Beautiful, really nicely done. Stylish sink over a vanity unit there. Two towel rails, so there's no race in the morning for the hot towel. Quadrant shower there. The loo's a ceramic Thetford cassette, C250. There's three cassettes on board, and there's a radiator behind as well. If there's towels on the towel rails, that can absorb the heat, so the owners are putting another radiator. Into the engine room. Two side hatches in here for lots of light. There's the B to JD3. 1500 hours on the clock there. It is so clean, so neat and so tidy in here. That's the satellite control system. You just press the button and the thing starts wearing and finding and it finds it. Very neat instrument panels. There's a three kilowatt Victron inverter and the calorifies underneath in this cupboard here. And on into the very nicely reproduced Boatman's cabin stroke bedroom. The bed's been built wider than normal, it's four foot six wide. It's very easily made up. It fits a standard four foot six fitted sheet. So the two mattresses here you will see. Once the sheet's fitted, just fold out. And hey presto, the bed's there. Beautifully done in here. Dave Moore scumbling. Drawers under, cupboards over. Little alcove there for your cup of tea in the morning. There's LED lighting on the walls and on the ceilings. And here's the drop down table. Lovely painting. Roses and castles. It's a 12 volt socket in there. In this, in, in, if this becomes your laptop table. And there's a little boatman stove. That keeps this bedroom toasty. It only takes a few nuggets of coal, I'm told, and it goes all night. Beautiful bedroom. Really cosy. Good sized bed. There we go. Beautifully finished. She's perfect throughout, in my opinion. Outside, inside, tip to toe. That's Yarwood. For further photographs and a fully downloadable colour brochure, go to www.rubberboats.co.uk.